Alright guys, in this video we're going to be learning about a range. Not like a range like home, home on the range, not that one. I'm talking about a range of numbers. So this is also a cool way that we can create a loop without a list. And if you're scratching your head and you're like, okay, well what the heck are we going to loop through then? Well, that's what I'm going to teach you guys. So make a for loop and then name the variable anything you want. I'll just name mine x. And usually we said something like in list and then we wrote the list name. But what if we just said, okay, we don't have anything to loop through, but I want to have this loop occur 10 times. I want something to occur 10 times. Well, what we can do is we can write range and inside here, 10. What this is pretty much saying is, okay, loop through this this is pretty much um, the same thing as making a list really quick so probably easier if you just see so right now X is equivalent to the numbers 0 through 9 since remember computers start counting at 10 now you can actually do anything 10 times it doesn't even need to involve X so if you just did this it printed out Bucky is awesome 10 times which is actually a really good program for people with uh, you know self-confidence issues Bucky's awesome Bucky's like you know what I am awesome alright so enough of that and let me actually go back to X because I want to show you guys some other things and another thing whenever you want to clear out your console because I don't know maybe it's just annoying just hit this little trash bucket button that reminds me of my stupid trash man who won't take my freaking cardboard but anyways, just minimize that. All right, so back up to here. So of course, whenever we print this out, x is equivalent to the numbers 0 through 9. Now we can also do something else, and that's this. Instead of just writing 10 right there, we can actually give it a range of numbers. So by default, it starts at 0. Now let's say that we wanted to start x at um, 5, and we wanted it to go to, I don't know, have a maximum of like 12 or something. Who knows? Ugh. Really? Now I got the hiccups. Okay, this is going to tick me off. All right, so press run and check it out. So now it starts at 5 and it loops all the way until it gets to 12. So when we don't have two numbers, then it starts at 0 implicitly. When we have two numbers, we have a beginning and an end. Now the last thing is what happens when we do this with three numbers. And you might be thinking beginning, middle, end. Well, not exactly. The first one is what number do you want to start at? The second one is where you want to end at. And the third one is your increment. So this means count from 10 to 40, but do it in steps of five. So 10, 15, 20, tomato, tomato, so on and so forth. so pretty freaking sweet so again if you ever want to specify by how much how much why can I not talk today how much you want to count by this is how you do that now I guess I have time in this video to show you guys about um the only other loop I want to talk to you about right now and this is called a while loop now the while loop is a special loop that loops as long as a condition is true so you don't explicitly give it either a list you don't give it a range of numbers you just said okay just keep looping until this one test equals false so let me show you a quick example make a variable called butt crack if you don't name it butt crack your program is not going to work I'm just kidding but now what we do is we use the keyword while and after this we give it a simple test so if butt crack is less than 10 then just do something. We'll just print out butt crack. Now, of course, oops. <laughs> Did I uh, accidentally say butt crack then write my name? Bucky crack. <laughs> All right. So anyways, what's going to happen in this case is this. Well, five is always going to be less than 10, you know, unless in the middle of our program, math and physics suddenly decide to change. So if we just run this right now, as you can see, it keeps printing out 55555 five, 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 five forever. So what we need to do, let me clear this out. 
So what we need to do is we need a way to change the value of butt crack to increase on every single iteration of the loop. So if you write butt crack plus equals one, what this line of code right here does is it adds one to butt crack every time. So the first time this loop occurs, it's going to print out five and then add one to butt crack. So the next time the loop occurs after that, butt crack is now equal to six. And it does this, as we can see, all the way until this variable butt crack equals 10. Is 10 less than 10? Well, no, it's not. So since this is false, that's when your program knows to stop the loop. So again, that's a while loop. And for the test, you need a way to change the variable in here. So um, if it just, if you never change it, and it keeps running over and over and over again. This is called an infinite loop, and it's not very good from your, for your uh, computer because it could actually crash your computer. So don't do that. So again, we learn about range. We learn about while loop, and I accidentally wrote Bucky instead of butt crack. So hope you enjoy. See you next time.